The De Morgan Foundation has partnered with Whittock Manor in Wolverhampton since 2016. It's one of our most important partnerships. The current exhibition, Look Beneath the Lustre, invites you to consider how and why William and Evelyn de Morgan created the ceramics and the paintings which they did. Oscar Wilde was a key figure in the British aesthetic movement. This art movement believed that art should exist purely for art's sake, or simply to be beautiful in its own right without any meaning or political undertone. Wilde believed that the aesthetic movement should extend to every corner of life and gave lectures throughout America and the UK on his idea of the house beautiful or how the interior should represent one's own aesthetic outlook. He gave a lecture in Wolverhampton in 1884 on the house beautiful, which was attended by Theodore Mander. Mander was completely inspired by Wilde's prescriptive to-do list of how to make one's home beautiful. As a wealthy industrialist who'd made his fortune in the paint industry, Manda also had the means to realise this dream, and Whittock Manor was completed in 1887 as an ode to Wilde's aesthetic interior. Manda shopped at the fashionable Morris & Co in London to buy William Morris wallpapers and fabrics for his interior. Through Morris & Co, he also bought William de Morgan tiles to fill the fireplaces at Whittock. In the morning room, library and dining room pictured here, William de Morgan tiles can still be found today. This is the KL Rose design which goes around the fireplace in the morning room. When Theodore Mander passed away, his son Geoffrey took over the running of Whittock Manor. Along with his second wife Rosalie, they amassed a huge and enviable collection of Victorian art and artefacts. They were well known to other influential collectors and socialites, such as Charles and Wilhelmina Sterling, who began the De Morgan collection. The Sterlings and the Manders were in touch during the Blitz in the Second World War. The Manders offered to house the De Morgan collection at Whittock Manor. It seems fitting, therefore, that in 2016, the De Morgan collection, in part, moved to Whittock Manor to be put on public display. The old malt house in the grounds was converted into the gallery and today presents the exhibition Look Beneath the Lustre. The exhibition repositions the de Morgans as central figures in the aesthetic movement. Works by Evelyn de Morgan have been selected for their similarities to the great aesthetic painter Edward Byrne Jones, which are on display in Whittock Manor. Her painting The Cadence of Autumn personifies and beautifies the idea of the passing of time. The four seasons are represented by four young women who work together in harmony to usher on the passing of time from one season to the next. The visual similarities between this painting and The Mill by Edward Byrne Jones are obvious. Byrne Jones's masterpiece once again features young cloaked women in a landscape with a mill in the background, indicating that whilst the work is being done, beauty can still be found in the passing of time of the day. This painting is represented in a tapestry after the painting, which is in Whittock Manor's collection. Byrne Jones's masterpiece, Love Among the Ruins, has been at Whittock Manor since the 1930s, when the property was first passed to the National Trust. It is based on the 15th century work of Fra Colonna, Hypnotomachia Polyphili, in which the protagonist, Polyphilus, falls into a deep dream where his quest for the love of Polya takes him to the altar of Venus. When he sees her, the briar rose springs around them and grows amongst the ruins. The ruins turn out to be the graves of ill-fated lovers, showing that love can exist even in the bleakest of places. It is the transience and unreliability of love which is really at the centre of this painting, however, as Polyphilus wakes up from his dream, and of course the graves indicate that even the greatest loves must eventually die away. Evelyn de Morgan met William de Morgan in 1883, and this painting is from the same year. Titled Love's Passing, it shows two lovers languishing on the banks of the river, with Tibullus's elegy open at their feet. This work of classical poetry describes the feeling one has when lying in their lover's arms, yet imagining the grief they will feel at their funeral. Even though the young lovers are distracted by an angel piping to them, in the background we see the grim reaper leading the young woman to her death. A reminder that love will always be followed by death and by grief. The peacock, with its impossibly beautiful tail of iridescent feathers, was used by members of the aesthetic movement to represent beauty over functionality. William de Morgan used the bird as a motif often, as it appealed to his clientele. 
To Morgan's sold tile panels such as this one at his Great Marlborough Street showroom in London, an opulent interior in itself in which people would go for parties and soirees thrown by the to Morgans at the weekend. Also on display in Look Beneath the Luster are sketchbooks and sketches by both of the de Morgans which helped them create their wonderful artworks. Whittick Manor has an enviable collection of William de Morgan tile papers. These tracings were made from his original drawings by his staff. Glaze would then be painted directly onto them and they would be placed on a damp tile before the tile was fired. The heat of the kiln would burn away the tracing paper and de Morgan's design would be left perfectly in glaze on the finished tile. This shows off de Morgan's ingenuity and his inventive nature and how he used science to replicate his own designs even though they'd been painted by someone else's hand. Evelyn de Morgan would use props and still lives in her paintings in order to make sure that the final piece had realism. In this portrait of her husband, William de Morgan, from 1909, she has posed him with the real vase in order that her painting has a realistic finish to it. This vase is now in the collection of the v Museum and has been kindly lent to the exhibition to display next to the portrait. Also on display next to the vase is one of William de Morgan's own drawings of the design for it. Having all of these preparatory pieces together around the portrait really helps us to understand the process behind the making of the pieces. We hope to welcome you back to Whittock Manor soon to enjoy the beautiful manor house and this enlightening exhibition.